All right, everyone, it's good to be back. It's been crazy out here in the Philippines. We just got out of typhoon season and now there's earthquakes going on. There's been a lot of changes for me personally. As you may have known, I just recently left XSplit and I'm really excited to talk about where I'm going next, but that's gonna come in the future. For now, I wanna talk about some cool tech I came up with in my last couple of weeks at XSplit. These are some cool techniques that you can use to create different kinds of FGC content, both quickly and easily. So let's jump into it. So tip number one is about how to quickly make highlight reels out of your past streams. So if you're able to record your stream while you're broadcasting, you can actually use the Expert Express video editor, which is now 100% free. So if you're using Expert Broadcaster, you're gonna wanna use a feature known as cue points. And cue points are automatically generated whenever you switch scenes, but you can also manually set cue points. So go into your hotkey settings and then set a hotkey for cue points. And then when you're streaming, if you have like a really close or hype match, just hit that hotkey and it'll insert a cue point. Then you take that recording and then you drop it in the Express Video Editor and you'll see all the cue points pop up and it makes it really easy to just hop around and edit clips and make them really short and compact. Then you just export it and if you just edit the file, if you don't add other clips into it, exporting the file just takes a few seconds. Then you just post it on Twitter, post it on YouTube, post it wherever you want it. Really fast, really easy. So tip number two is creating a sort of ghetto telestrator for match analysis. So if you ever watch some of Sejam's streams, he's probably one of the few people that I've seen actually use the whiteboard source in XSplit. And what this does is it lets you draw directly onto your scene. And the thing is, if you try this yourself, especially if you're playing back a file, it can be kind of hard to get the exact frame that you kind of want to draw stuff on. And then if you're screen capping YouTube or Twitch, it looks kind of janky. So what I've come up with is a whole new workflow to make this a lot easier and it look a lot cleaner. So first you're gonna to need to make sure you have an actual file to play back. Now on Twitch, if you're pulling from your own archive, this is pretty easy. Just make a highlight or a clip and you can download it directly. Now, if you're pulling from another channel, make sure you get permission, but then just screen capture the channel with XSplit and record it. Now on YouTube, this is a lot easier. Just find the link and then you're gonna use this software called YouTube-DL, it's a command line program. I'll leave a link in the description about how to use this, but it'll basically just download the file directly for you. So then we're gonna fire up the Express Video Editor again, then we're gonna drop the file into that. And the reason why we're using the Express Video Editor for playback is because it has some handy hotkeys. So spacebar is pause and play, and then you can actually use the arrow keys to quickly or very slowly scrub through the file. So you can do like frame by frame scrubbing through the file so you get that exact point that you wanna show something. Then back in XSplit, all you're gonna do is screen capture the playback area from the Express Video Editor, full screen that, add the whiteboard overlay on top, and now you've got this really awesome Telestrator that has really good playback controls and just let the content flow from there. So tip number three is using the gamepad visualizer to create character guides or teaching tech like option selects. So I actually posted this tutorial on my Twitter, so make sure to follow me if you wanna see short tech guides and other channel updates. So first you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have the latest version of XSplit Broadcaster running. You can download it from xsplit.com. Once XSplit is up, click on add sources, click on find more sources. This will take you to the plugin store and install the gamepad visualizer. So go back to add sources, go to general widgets and click on the gamepad visualizer. This will add it as a source. Then connect your controller to your PC and click on some buttons to make sure that the gamepad visualizer can detect your inputs. So if you right click on the gamepad visualizer in the source menu, you can find all these options for customization. And here you can find the skins that represent different kinds of controllers. So you can find arcade sticks and even hitboxes. So all of this is available in the free version of Expert Broadcaster. So let me know in the comments if you're gonna use any of this tech or let me know if there's any tech you'd like me to break down. Make sure to stay subscribed to this channel because we've got some really exciting projects coming up over the next couple weeks. Thanks again for watching and catch y'all later.